Hey everyone, welcome to Drawing with Chu. I'm Vanessa from Savannah Grande Rec Center and we are here for episode number two. We are gonna draw Bucky Beaver using the number three. Those that are just joining us, welcome. And those that are joining us from last week, I'm so glad you're back with us. Hopefully you guys have been practicing, practicing, practicing. So those that are joining us for new may not know me. I um, start drawing when I was little and have just been practicing, practicing, practicing. And now look, I'm here getting paid to do this. So without further ado, hopefully you've gathered some of your supplies. You are going to need a piece of paper. Again, doesn't matter if it's blank paper. Blank paper is ideal, but any paper that you can draw on and a pencil. Remember, we want it to be sharp and we want it to have an eraser. Again, maybe you guys are perfect. I'm not perfect. I always need a fat eraser. All right. So without any more delay, let's get started on Bucky the Beaver. But let me introduce Bucky's girlfriend, Beatrice. She's here. She's ready to take a tropical vacation. So let's get Bucky up on the board so they can go off onto vacation because it's summertime. All right. So you guys ready? Hopefully you're ready. Let's go. So again, we're going to start with the letter, th the number three. So we're going to draw number three right here in the middle of our paper. All right, just like that. Simple. You guys all know how to draw three. Yeah. All right. Now we are going to give him some eyes. So again, those that were with me last week, eyes are an important part of your character. They make, they give you the, the personality of your character. Again, if you want to do crazy eyes, do crazy eyes. If you want to do cross-eyed, cross-eyed. I'm just going to do two simple dots. So right above this little three right here, I'm going to do two simple dots. Nothing too fancy. Okay? There we are. Bucky has some, some eyes. Now, we're going to draw his little snout. So beavers have, have kind of like a big snouty nose. So what we're going to do is right here in the kind of the bulby part of the three, we're just going to draw a line kind of curving down. Woohoo, he's coming to shape. All right? Now, if you notice, Beatrice, she has a big old nose. Bucky's gonna have the same. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna take this part here at the top of the three, and we're just gonna make it a circle. There we go. All right? All right, now, this part of his mouth. Is, is your beaver sad? Is he happy? My beaver's pretty happy. He's about to go on vacation with his main girl, Beatrice. So we're gonna put a little upside down smiley face right here. He's happy, he's chilling. All right, now beavers have big teeth. They gotta eat through wood. Now, I know you guys have teeth too. You're eating a lot of pizza and french fries. All right, here we go. So we're gonna draw some teeth. So we're gonna do one here and then one here. Woohoo! he has some teeth. All right. So now, Bucky's chilling there. He's got some teeth. He's got his nose. Now let's go for his body. He needs a little body. He can't just be hanging up there. So now we're just going to start here at the top of his nose. And we're going to do like kind of a half circle. That's going to come around. And there. There he is. He has his head. All right. How's it going? How's your drawing looking? Looks great. All right. Now. What we're going to do is we're going to draw him some ears. Now, unlike Paul our pig from last week, if you guys remember, Paul's ears were long and, and kind of pointy at the end. Beavers have kind of little like bear type of ears. So we're going to do one right here. We're going to go about halfway because you don't want it to be on the top of his head. Your ears aren't on the top of his head, right? They're all kind of on the side. So we're going to do kind of a half circle. And he has one ear. Now, again, remember we're treating our eye to think that our drawing, even though it's one dimensional on the piece of paper, we want to train our eyes to make it seem like it's 3D. So we're going to pretend that we can see his other ear, even though when I'm turned like this, you can't see my ear. But if I had beaver ears, you could see my other ear. So here on the back, we're just going to do a little half circle. Boop. Right? Wow, oh, look at Bucky. He's already starting to appear in glorious form on our paper. How's your beavers going? Looks great. 
All right, now we want to do the inside of the ear, right? So now beavers have kind of like, yeah, they have little they have furry ears. So we can either do a little cut of V to make it look like, but we're going to make him have like an inside ear. We're just going to do a little half circle, like an upside down U in both of these inside, but makes him look super cute. He's looking really cute. I'm liking it. All right. Now, he needs a body. Can't just have a head floating out there. So now what we're going to do is maybe Bucky's been eating a little few, too much wood. Maybe he's been chomping on the wood a little bit too much in the midst of him going on vacation. So he's going to be a little plump. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start here at the back of his neck, right? And we're just going to do kind of a circle. Boop. And he's got a little plumpy belly and it's going to come right here and it's going to hit right there at his one tooth okay now we're going to assume that he has more teeth but beavers have those big jaggedy teeth that are outside so maybe your beaver you want to put like maybe a few more teeth hey again it's your character you do what you want with it all right he's got himself a body now Again, we're going to do a little arm. Maybe here's like, woohoo, right? So we're going to do a little arm here. We're not going to attach it because remember, we're deceiving our eyes to think that the arm is attached to it. So we're just going to do a kind of a U shaped here on the side. There it is. All right. And then remember when I talked about the fingers? Well, Bucky's not, he doesn't really have fingers. He's going to have what we call paws. You know, you call the, them paws. So we're gonna just put one line and a second line, right? So there's his little phalanges, fingers. <laughs> All right. Now we're gonna have another arm coming out from the uh, from from behind him. Again, we're gonna see make it seem like on the other side of his body he has an arm. So I'm gonna have his arm coming out here because he's dancing because he's excited about going to. His tropical vacation. All right, and again, one, two, his little fingers. All right, perfect. Now we're gonna draw his legs. So we're just gonna do again a U right here underneath him, and another U kind of down below his belly. Perfect. And then again, one, two for his. Well, and there we have Bucky the Beaver. Now again, we're going to add some personality. He looks great like this. You could leave him like this and it would be perfect. But we're going to add a little character and personality to him. Also, as always, just like last week when I forgot to put Paul's tail on, I forgot Bucky's tail. Beavers have these giant tails. If you've ever seen a beaver, so we're going to give him a tail. So we're just going to do a little kind of half circle on his tail. Yeah, because he has a giant tail. Now, beavers have kind of this weird pattern on their tail. So I thought, hmm, how could we show that pattern on his tail? So the easy way is like as if you ever played tic-tac-toe with your family, you're just going to draw some lines. And depending on how your, how your drawing is, you're just gonna draw some lines like you're about to play a giant game of tic-tac-toe, like that, all right? And then you're just gonna do some more lines across, right? And depending on what your drawing looks like is gonna have depend on how your tail looks, right? See, kind of looks like a beaver tail. All right, now let's add some details to make him look even cooler. He's looking pretty cool right now we're going to add some more. So like his nose, looks like just his nose is just chilling out there. We're going to actually turn it into a nose. So what we're going to do is we're going to pretend that it has a little shadow on top. So we can make it look, again, tricking our eye that even though it's a one dimensional, that our, our drawing is 3D. So we're going to put a little kind of little oval here at the top of his nose. That's sort of like a shadow. If you look at your nose in the mirror, your nose has like a little weird shadow on it. So that's what this is. Then what you can do is you can just color it in because beavers have dark black 
Again, your beaver may have a pink nose. So we're just going to color it in. All right. Now, beavers also have kind of like whiskers. I didn't really want to put whiskers on mine. So I'm just going to put two, like three little dots to make it seem like maybe he shaved recently. If you want to put whiskers on your beaver, feel free. All right, there he is, Bucky in all his glory. We're just going to make it seem, because right now he's just kind of floating in space. So last week, if you remember, I did some grass. Beavers normally hang out in the, in the water. He's just kind of hanging out on the side of the, the river bank. So we're just going to do that. And we have Bucky the beaver. He's getting ready to head out to the tropics with his girlfriend Beatrice. As you can see, Beatrice has a little hula skirt on. I added a, I added a, a flower for us to turn her into a girl. So again, put your drawings in the comments. I want to see them. I do look at the comments. I'm pretty sad that I haven't seen any comments about Paul the pig. Maybe you're just practicing getting that perfect one. So hopefully I can see some Bucky's. Hopefully I can see some Beatrice's. Let me see your drawings. And again, join us for next week. I know I said Steve the shark was supposed to be today, but he was chilling with his friends. Couldn't make it today. He will be here next week for episode three, Steve the shark using, using the number four. Hope to see you next week. Have a great day.